While not setting the division alight, newly promoted Aston Villa have looked generally solid, achieving results against other lower half of the table sides like Everton and Norwich. Crucial to this has been the form of John McGinn, surely Villa's outstanding player so far this term. It's no surprise to see the Scottish midfielder linked with moves away from the club. But what exactly does McGinn do for Dean Smith's side? Aston Villa have used either a 4-3-3 or a 4-1-4-1 this season, and McGinn has played on the right-hand side of the midfield three, which is the basic central setup regardless of how high the wingers sit. Generally, marvellous Nakamba screens behind either an attacking two of McGinn and Jack Grealish, or a slightly more solid pairing of McGinn or Grealish and Douglas Louise. Grealish has also played wide left, the position that first brought him to prominence before his reinvention as an attacking central midfielder. Nakamba does the hard work and indeed he can look like Villa's only defensively minded midfielder at times, responsible for trying to break up attacks and protect the back four. Villa's fullbacks Matt Target and Frederick Gilbert like to push high and wide, and this allows the attacking wide players to tuck inside while striker Wesley stays central to attack the opposition centre-backs and look for scoring opportunities, while also creating space for on-rushing midfielders and wide attackers roaming infield. Villa like to get the ball forwards quickly and into the wide spaces, where they look to carry it and try to win fouls. Villa are 14th for touches in the box, 13th for 1v1s and dribbling, and 2nd for fouls won. Only Manchester United have been fouled more, and not by much. Villa are not a hugely direct side though, certainly not a Burnley or Newcastle United. They just don't play many passes. They play the third fewest passes per 90, although they have the seventh least percentage of possession in the league. But they only rank seventh for percentage of passes played long. But Villa are good at maximising the potential of this approach generating the 6th most shots and the 2nd highest proportion of shots on target in the Premier League. And how does John McGinn fit into this style? Well, he sort of embodies it. McGinn's statistics make for unusual reading. Among those who have played central midfield in the Premier League this season, McGinn is equal 4th for dribbles per 90 with 5.68. He's tied with Watford's Roberto Pereira and he and 2nd place Steven Alzate have both played in wide roles this season too, where dribbling is more likely to occur. But of the 96 central midfielders who have played enough minutes to register a passes per 90 metric with Scout, McGinn is 92nd for that stat. He plays 24.96 passes per 90. The top three for passes per 90, Jorginho, Kovacic and Winks, average 71.9 between them, nearly three times as many passes per 90 as McGinn. While part of this is stylistic to Villa as a whole, it's unusual for a central attack-minded midfielder to be so little involved in building up with volume passing. Where McGinn does stand out in terms of passing is the type. He's 11th in the Premier League for central midfielders by proportion of long passes. If those same players are ranked by proportion of long passes, but you show other metrics, you can see that McGinn is something of a unicorn. His XG is significantly higher, his shots and dribbles massively so, except by comparison with Milner for shots, and Ole Henderson gets near him for touches in the box. In short, he passes like a deep-lying creator or defensive midfielder in a direct low-pass volume team, but in every other regard he's an attacking midfielder who doesn't pass the ball. McGinn tends to receive the ball from the central defenders or keeper and then he either looks to sweep the ball out wide, hence the long pass numbers, or turn and carry it forwards. His usual midfield partner Jack Grealish is a little more inclined to try a progressive pass, but he too will carry it, and his dribbling numbers are only a little short of McGinn's. Where McGinn does pass short is often lateral, either to an advancing fullback or to another midfielder stepping up into the line and then he sets off looking to get towards the box to assist in the attack. He's able to time his runs well, as with his goal against Arsenal especially attacking the channel between the opposition centre-back and full-back in the right half space. He can also play useful passes through from this sort of area to send players in on goal or run wide while the inside forwards tuck in and provide crosses. This is how he racked up three goals and two assists joint top with Grealish, Wesley and El Ghazi for goal involvement at Villa. McGinn is certainly an unusual player especially for the central midfield role, 
His attributes work well for how Villa look to play, while his lack of passing reflects his team's overall style. He's extremely effective for Dean Smith's team. Whether that can manifest for a side who can't cater to his skill set or want more of a passer remains to be seen. For now though, John McGinn is Aston Villa's key man and the player who most embodies what they are trying to achieve. John McGinn and hundreds of other professional players are available to trade on Football Index, the real money football stock market. Have a look at the link below and see details of a special promo code for TIFO viewers.